Hey, how's it going people? Brown Brady here and thank you for tuning into my channel. And in this episode, I'm going to give you my first impressions of my 2021 Yamaha MT-07. This is my 2021 Yamaha MT-07, which I bought brand new from Snow City in Toronto. And my sales guy was Sean, who I was very pleased with. When he handed the bike to me, he did a walkthrough of the motorcycle. He showed me how to work the controls. He showed me how to care for the motorcycle during the break-in period. I thought he did a great job and I was very pleased with the beautiful transaction. Day, beautiful day outside. Here's the sad reality, it is still cold. I want you to try and keep the bike upright as much as possible until you can scrub the tires, put some heat in through them, and then learn to progressively lean the bike until you can open up the contact patch. Ideally fill one inch below that plate, a little bit more won't hurt, but remember it is a black bike. On very, very hot days, it will start to whistle. That's why you have this little vent hole here. If pressure does build, it'll vaporize, then condense into a droplet, and then you'll have tubes in front of the kickstand. If you have a little puddle underneath your bike, don't freak out, it's like a drop of gas. Push down, turn, pull the key out. It is now locked. If you are parking in an underground garage, and this is your wall here, remember kickstand faces the wall. We're gonna go ahead and flick this into the down position. Force of habit is just me holding the brake. Once you start riding and you achieve a speed of 11 to 14 kilometers per hour, the slight will turn off. For whatever reason, your bike while riding, the ABS light turns on, you will always have brakes because your brakes are hydraulic. If you have your high beam flash, alternatively, you can just flick it into the high beam position. And this controls this section here. Well, 2.1 kilometers from the technician safety ride, lifetime fuel economy, average fuel economy. At around 54 degrees, the bike should be warmed up, ready to rock. 18 degrees Celsius is outside ambient air temperature. You have a full tank of gas. Your position indicator is here. Left turn signal to turn it off, push it in. Horn, caution, hazard, four ways. Keep the bike under 6,000 RPM. Utilize all of your gears. The bike will take 87 octane. Anything above and beyond the 91 is just not conducive to helping this motor. I mean, you'd be 45 minutes with me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you have a great bike, man. The CP2 engine. Very strong. First, I'd like to go over what's new for 2021. First, it's the new generation body styling, which makes it a part of the new Pure MT family DNA. It's also got unique winglet style air intakes. It's got a new LED projector headlight with signature Y-shaped icon, an EU5 compliant 689cc cross-plane technology CP2 engine, which has a maximum torque of 49.4 foot-pounds produced at 6,500 RPM. It's got a new tapered handlebar, which happens to be 32 millimeters wider than the previous model, an inverted LCD spot collar dash, and new LED turn signals. Other than that, it's got a 41 millimeter conventional fork with 5.1 inches of wheel travel, a two into one exhaust, and a 270 degree crank, which gives it a distinctive throaty exhaust sound. Seat height is 31.7 inches high. Now I'm five foot five with a 29 inch inseam. I'm a short guy. I'm gonna get on the bike to show you that it's still approachable. So I'm still on my tippy toes. The seat is still pretty narrow, but seat height shouldn't intimidate you short riders. Overall, it's a very welcome addition to my stable. I think it's a great beginner motorcycle or a second motorcycle. And I can't wait to ride it some more and give you more feedback in the future. Interesting things I found about the MT-07. First, there's the new LED projector headlight. I was concerned that the small diameter would make it less visible to other drivers, but it doesn't appear to be a problem so far. Then there's the new styling. I don't hate it, but I wish they designed it a little better. This headlight will take some getting used to for me at least. I know you guys have your own opinion about the design of this new headlight, so let me know in the comments section. Then there's the ignition, which is now behind the dash. I don't mind the new location of the ignition switch, but the dash's new location seems a bit too low. I found that I had to move my head down further than normal to read the dash. I had my M50 towed by the CAA when I bought it, so I thought, why not have my MT-07 towed the same way? 
but this time I gave them a poor excuse. I said my back was hurting and I couldn't ride home safely so they said unfortunately we only tow it if there's something wrong with the bike. So then I was forced to ride it home. That was why I brought my gear with me just in case. So how was the handling? In the parking lot it felt very light. It's 406 pounds with oil and gas so it was very easy to maneuver compared to my M50. On the street it felt very nimble. It had a lot of pull at any gear and I think it felt right at home between 60 to 80 kilometers per hour. There were a few occasions when I got careless with the clutch and I caught myself off guard with how much power this bike has. It also had plenty of stopping power thanks to the dual disc brakes. I had to make a couple of sudden stops and I felt the rear ABS engage at least once. It was a strange feeling, kind of like something was grinding under my feet. On the highway, it had plenty of overtaking power, even at 6th gear. Mind you, I was keeping the revs below 6000 RPM due to the break-in period, so I was taking it easy. But I think this bike can eat a lot of kilometers on the highway no problem. In terms of comfort, the seating position and controls are very comfortable because Yamaha raised the bar, literally. The new handlebar is slightly higher and closer to the rider so that you're sitting more upright especially if you're a taller rider. I was sitting so much higher that without adjusting my camera angle, the dash was almost always out of my camera's field of view. I wouldn't mind getting stuck in traffic on this bike because it's so manageable. For riders who prefer not to listen to music, this bike's exhaust note provides a very nice soundtrack. The sound of the stock exhaust is loud enough to be heard by other motorists but not annoyingly obnoxious. But it's a naked bike, so it can get very windy on the highway. I was jostled around on my first ride home so I'm not really looking forward to taking a beating in very long highway rides on it. So there you are people. These are my initial impressions only and I'm sure my opinions will change the longer I ride it. If you already have the Yamaha MT-07, please let me know if you agree with my thoughts in the comments section. And that'll be all for this episode. If you like this video, please hit that like button, or better yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. As always, ride safe and thanks for watching. You look like a bobblehead. <laughs>